Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing my 2023 top 10s as we're going to look at my number three super featherweight in the world right now. The reigning and undefeated two-time IBF champion Joe Cordina of the United Kingdom. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Cordina um, entered, he actually moves up two spots from number five to number three um, from last year. He entered the year as a former champion but was still undefeated because after upsetting Kenichi Ogawa to capture the title in 2022, he was set to make a mandatory defense against Shavkat Rakhimov. But um, an injury held him from being able to make the defense and because the IBF had two mandatory challenge, uh, challengers do title shots, they decided to strip Cordina of the IBF title and allow the two mandatory challengers, Rakhimov and Zelfa Barrett, to fight each other for the vacant title. And But they guaranteed Joe Cordina the first shot at the title. So Rakhimov defeated Barrett. And in, I think it was April, uh, Cordina and Rakhimov was on for the IBF title. Cordina would put Rakhimov down early and then the two would just chuck the remainder of the fight going toe to toe, back and forth battle and it would end in a split decision victory for Cordina as he regained the IBF title and became a two time champion. Um, following that victory, Cordina was trying to set up a unification bout, was talking to, a had a bunch of different options that he was trying, that he was looking into but he ended up not taking on a top 10 guy at all or trying to unify belts. Instead, in November, he would return to make an optional defense against little-known Edward Vasquez. I was, I was highly disappointed in the opponent selection, but it ended up being a really good fight. The two went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, back and forth. Um, it was a good, a good battle between the two. And after 12 rounds at home again, Cordina would walk away with a very close majority decision victory as he retained the IBF title uh, for the uh, and it actually the first official defense of his two reigns as champion so he ends the year as the IBF champ heading into 2024 he's 32 years old he is 17 and 0 at nine knockouts and he is um, trying to say he's actually he's actually in optional mode still because a mandatory eliminator has been ordered for Rakhimov to face off against undefeated Mexican Eduardo Nunez. Um, that fight has not been finalized as of yet. It will happen very soon in the next coming months. But while that fight is taking place, um, I think Cordina is going to be allotted a, an optional defense. And I think there's a very good chance he fights Lee Wood, the former two-time featherweight champion who's moving up to 130 pounds. I hope that's what he does anyways. Um, if not, he's either going to wait around for the winner of Rakhimov and Nunez till the second half of the year, or he's going to have to find another opponent. Cordina, I don't think mine's finding another opponent. I think he'll uh, he'll look at pretty much anybody, um, you know, that's, that's ready and willing. Um, I think in the top 10, you know, uh, there's not really a ton of options, but he could always face uh, a Zelfa Barrett in an all UK battle. He could fight, um, you know, maybe a Liam Wilson who fought Emmanuel Navarrete last year for the title, for the WBO title. He could fight Rocky Hernandez who gave Oshaki Foster hell in their fight. Um, but I really think and hope that it's Lee Wood and an outside option is if Lee Wood doesn't want to fight him, why not fight Josh Warrington, the former two-time IBF uh, featherweight champion, who is trying to move up and kind of chase Lee Wood anyways. Um, so I think Cordina has, has a bunch of options for the first half of the year. And if he gets through that, I think the second half of the year is going to be a mandatory against Rakhimov or Nunez. I'm picking Rakhimov, which would mean a rematch. And I think a rematch could go either way between Cordina and Rakhimov. 
So I think Cordina's going to have a tough year. Um, I do believe he'll still be in the top 10 no matter what by the end of the year. I think in order to clinch a top five spot, he has to win out. Um, and to have a shot at the top, he has to win out. And I do believe uh, a couple solid victories could could make him the top dog or number two uh, in the division by the end of the year. Just got to wait to see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got. That's my 2020, or that's my number three super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds, the undefeated, reigning, two-time IBF champion as my 2023 top tens continue. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.